guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy special Saturday. Today we will be reading Spots Show and Tell by Eric Hill. Now before we get started, do any of you do show and tell? Now I remember at my primary school, we used to do show and tell. And every week someone would bring something in that they'd like to show the class about and the class could ask questions about it. Now I think one time I bought in this for show and tell. Now you might not know exactly what this is. Let me turn it around. Now you see that Asthma UK. Asthma UK is a charity that is very close to my heart because I have asthma. And I thought what better to do than raise money. So a few, two years ago, I, outside my house, raised money for this with my sister and with my mum and dad. And we were lucky enough to have so many people come. Now, as you can see in here, we have a lovely written letter from Asthma UK. Now, I was so privileged to have all these people come. And we raised £200. And I thought this was a big achievement, so I had to bring it in for show and tell. Maybe you've brought in some more exciting things than this. Maybe you've brought in some really cool things for show and tell. It might be a new toy you got. It might be a cool painting you made. Well, be sure to email me if you want the chance to feature your show and tell in a video. All right, should we read Spots, Show and Tell? Spot and his friends arrived to school bright and early. Good morning, everyone, said Miss Bear. Good morning, Miss Bear, everyone replied. When everyone was se settled, Miss Bear asked, Does anyone have anything special for show and tell? Helen and Tom both put up their hands. Miss Bear asked Helen to come up first. Helen held up her pink ballet shoes for everyone to see. They had lovely ribbons to keep them on her feet. Every week I go to ballet class, said Helen. Next week we're going to do a concert and I'm going to be a flower. Everyone thought Helen's ballet shoes were very special. They all clapped. Helen was very happy. Next it was Tom's turn. I brought my new kite, said Tom. It's very special. My dad helped me to make it. We use special paper, wooden sticks and glue. We're going to fly it on Saturday. Everyone thought Tom's kite was wonderful, and they all clapped. Tom was very happy. Later that morning, it was time for painting. Spot and Steve shared an easel. I'm going to bring something for show and tell tomorrow, said Spot. Me too, said Steve, but I'm not sure what I'm going to bring. Neither am I, said Spot. We'll have to think hard, won't we? afternoon Steve was going to Spot's house to play. Sally picked Spot and Steve up and they all walked home together. Steve saw a bright orange autumn leaf on the grass and he picked it up. Maybe I'll take this for show and tell tomorrow, he said. It is a lovely colour. When they got back, Spot and Steve played cars in Spot's room. My car collection is special, Spot said to Steve. Maybe I'll take my cards to show and tell tomorrow. That's a good idea, said Steve. At bedtime, Spot was still thinking about show and tell. Suddenly he had a great idea. I know what I want to take to show and tell tomorrow, said Spot. It's very, very, very special. Spot whispered something to Sally. That sounds perfect said Sally, and she kissed Spot goodnight. Sweet dreams, Spot. The next morning, Spot was smiling and cheerful when he met Steve on the way to school. Have you got something for your show and tell, asked Steve. Yes, said Spot, and it's very, very special. Have you got something? Yes, said Steve, and it's very special too. At school, Miss Bear asked if anyone had brought something special for show and tell. Spot and Steve put their hands up and Miss Bear asked them to come to the front of the class. I'd like to show the picture 
I painted of my friend Spot, said Steve. Spot laughed, and I'd like to show you the picture I painted of my friend Steve, said Spot. Everyone clapped, even Miss Bear. Spot and Steve were very, very happy. I loved that story, and many of you at home probably loved it as much as I did. I thought that the story had a great message. Now, always in the stories I like to read, I like to make sure they have a good message so that you can go out in the world and you can use that message to help others and to be the best you can be. Now, that message, I think, personally, was the message of friendship. Now, sometimes for show and tell, you don't know what you're going to bring in. You're like, should I bring this? Should I bring them this? And then you're like, actually, no, I have a good idea. I am going to do something for my best special friend. And there we go. Both of them did it for each other. And that shows the love of friendship. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.